we want to solve the following proportions that involve decimals and fractions. And just for some extra practice, we'll do these by hand. So we know when we have a proportion, the cross products must be equal. So z times 0 0.05 must be equal to 0 0.04 times 1.5. So again, we have 0.05z equals 0.04 times 1.5. Let's start by determining this product. 0.04 times 1.5. Notice we have two decimal places here and one decimal place here, which means our product must contain three decimal places. So once we know this, we can multiply ignoring the decimal places. So we have 4 times 15, which would be 60. But since we have to have three decimal places, we have to move the decimal point from here left three times. So 1, 2, 3. So we're going to have 0 0.060. 0. So we can leave this 0 off, so we'd have 0 0.06. So we have 0.05z equals 0.06. Remember, it is better to have a 0 in the 1's column. And now to solve for z, we'll divide both sides by 0.05. So we have z equal to this quotient. So let's go ahead and perform this division. So we have 0.06 divided by 0.05. In order to perform this division, we want the divisor to be a whole number. So move the decimal point to the right twice, and then we'll do the same in the dividend to here. Move it up into our quotient, and now we'll divide as we normally do. So there's 1, 5, and 6. Subtract as a 1. Now we can't stop here, so we'll add a 0 here to the right of the decimal point and bring it down. And how many 5's are in 10? That would be 2. 2 times 5 is 10, so we have 0, so we can stop, which means z is equal to 1.2, or 1 and 2 tenths. Now let's take a look at our second example. y times 1 third must equal 4 ninths times 27. So again, we have 1 third y is equal to 4 ninths times 27. I'm going to write 27 over 1, since this is in fraction form. Let's determine this product. Notice that 9 and 27 have a common factor of 9. There's 1, 9, and 9, and 3, 9's, and 27. So this becomes 1 third y is equal to, we'd have 12 over 1, or just 12. Now this 1 third is attached by multiplication, but instead of dividing by 1 third, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll multiply the left side here by 3 over 1, which is just 3. Then we'll multiply the right side by the same. But since this is not in fraction form, we'll just put times 3. So notice on the left side, the 3 simplify out. We have y. And on the right side, we have 12 times 3, which is equal to 36. So we had z equals 1.2 for the first example and we had y equals 36 for our second example.